This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the combustion reactions of the alcohols. Alcohols are organic compounds composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Here we have the first three members of the homologous series. They are methanol on the left, ethanol in the middle, and on the right we have propanol. As we can see, each alcohol has the hydroxyl functional group. Because they have the same functional group, all alcohols react in a similar way with oxygen in combustion reactions. So alcohols undergo combustion in excess oxygen, which is complete combustion, to form carbon dioxide and water. In the first equation, we have the complete combustion of methanol to produce carbon dioxide and water. In the second equation, we have the complete combustion of ethanol, again to form carbon dioxide and water. Alcohols also undergo combustion in a limited supply of oxygen, which is incomplete combustion, to form carbon monoxide or carbon. In the first equation, we have ethanol reacting in a limited supply of oxygen to produce carbon monoxide and water. In the second equation, we have ethanol reacting in a very limited supply of oxygen to produce carbon and water. And finally, we'll look at the enthalpy change of combustion values of the first four members of the homologous series, from methanol to butanol. The first thing we notice is that these are negative enthalpy changes, which means that the reactions are exothermic. The second thing we notice is that as we go down the table, the enthalpy change becomes more negative. So as the number of carbon atoms increases, the enthalpy change also increases. Butanol, with its four carbon atoms, has the highest enthalpy change of combustion value. And methanol, with its one carbon atom, has the lowest enthalpy change of combustion value. 